2 Cree XHP 35 high intensity, 2 Cree XHP 70 LEDs, independent control system for both, capable of a combined total output of 12,000 lumens, the Neewalker Nova Minimax 18.3. Thank you to Knee Walker for sending me this light for review. I have to say my first impressions are that it has a lot of character. There's no battery rattle in it, and the carrier is a little bit different than a lot of them I've seen. On the top we have our two lighted switches for independent control of the LEDs. And on the back we have our two charging ports, a USB and a micro USB. The micro USB is for charging the flashlight and the USB is for charging other devices off of it like your smartphone. We did also get this snappy Velcro pouch with a lower compartment for the accessories. With those accessories are a lanyard and this removable handle. I like the design on this handle because it's not just the screws that hold it on there. They've got that lip on there that helps hold it together, make it tougher. There's really a lot of attention to detail here. One detail that could have probably used a little more attention is this. I do like this battery adapter, but one problem I had is I can't get any protected cells to fit in it. I tried every one that I have from my key power cells to my Olight cells. I even tried some ace beam cells and the springs are stiff and it's just impossible to get anything in there. Okay, let's back up. I found out you are able to get some protected cells in this carrier. I got a 2600 milliamp key power to fit in there after a little bit more trying. For me that wouldn't be that big of a deal because I run mostly unprotected cells. I have a high risk tolerance to, you know, draining one cell too much, but in an integrated charging system that means that this pack is going to be charged to 16.8 volts, which means if these three cells are put in here at 3.7 volts each, and this one over here was put in at 4 volts and you charge it to the full 16.8, this one could be getting charged to 4.5 volts. Not great. This, this really could have been longer. The instructions for this light say that you're supposed to use high drain cells, but I couldn't find anything that said what they should be rated at, so I decided to test the pack load. In my test I found that I got between 8.2 and 8.5 amps under load, so I'm going to say that if you use a set of batteries that's rated at a 10 amp discharge, you should be good. Okay, user interface. You can one click on, one click off for either switch. From the on position, you can press and hold, and it'll cycle through your low, medium, high, five modes. From the off position, you can momentary press either switch and get its turbo. A double press will give you a lock on in turbo. From off, a double click will give you strobe. From on, a double click gives you SOS, and if you press and hold from there, you get your other blinky stuff. Each switch can memorize its own mode, so you can have like moonlight for one switch and turbo for the other.
Okay, enough of that. Time for some versus battle. First, we'll look at Ace Beam L16 versus the dual XHP35 high intensity of the Knee Walker. Now we'll look at the 5000 lumen LED upgrade for Maglite I have versus the dual XHP 70s of the Knee Walker. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good luck.